God's color is red. Why red? How do you mean why? The same as my little Bible. <laughs> the eleven apostles went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had summoned them. There they saw Jesus. They fell down before him. But some of them had doubts about Jesus. Jesus came up and said, My Father has given me authority over heaven and over the earth, and with this authority I am sending you. Go out to all the nations, make all people into my disciples. And what? Did they go? Of course they went. Listen, make all people into my disciples, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Little Red Bible for Children is celebrating its 25th birthday. It belongs to the children of the whole world and they can read it in 141 languages. It can be found on every continent from the cold Siberian taiga to the hot forests of Amazon, from the village huts of Africa to the concrete housing estates of Europe. Over 40 million children have received a copy. The Bible for children was fought up by a bacon priest. In other words, Father Wernfried von Strassen. He was the one who found aid to the church in need, an organization that helps the church all over the world. In 1979, the world celebrated the International Year of the Child. Father Wernfried, who is this idea's creator and initiator, and whose project this was, said that something had to be done that year for the world's children. One must give these children hope. Father Verenfried wrote, Children need the Bible so that the image of Jesus can come alive in their hearts. The church often does not have the resources to give children a copy of the Bible in their native language, or because of persecutions, is not allowed to distribute religious literature. Many children suffer such poverty that they do not have enough to eat, let alone think about a book. So we will give them a child's Bible. Father Verenfri told bishops about his idea and very quickly letters began arriving from around the world with pleas for a child's Bible. Letters from priests, convent sisters, catechists, parents, grandparents and from the children themselves. The Child's Bible has helped us greatly to see how God saves and loves mankind. We have also learned a lot about Jesus, how he acts in our lives and how he died to redeem us from our sins. We don't know how to say thank you, but since you are our friend, we will always pray for you. Genevieve Tiley Doe, a pupil of St. Anna's School from Ghana in Africa. Yesterday our neighbor gave our children a book to read. It's called God Speaks to His Children. The book is in a very poor state and falling to pieces. Clearly many people have read it, so it's hardly usable anymore. Could you send us another copy? Anne Tomachevko from Novosibirsk in Russia. I really don't know how to thank you for this great gift. What you have sent us is truly like manna from heaven. Father Tavasi from Togo in Africa. It is a great blessing to be able to teach the Word of God in this way. As one little girl looked at one of the child's Bible posters, she called out to her brother, saying, Look, that's what God looks like. When the parish priest asked the children if one could see the love of God, one of them replied, Of course, it's red. Why? asked the priest. It's obviously red, just as our little Bibles are coloured red. With affectionate greetings, Hildegard Otto from Bogota, South America. Our children can now go to church and we have managed to learn something about Jesus, but it's all very little. We have no Bibles, catechisms or prayer books. 
Our parents' knowledge about our faith is also not that deep. Perhaps you can help us so that we can get to know God better. Oksana from the Ukraine. There is nothing more important in our parish than the Bible, the Word of God, because thanks to the Bible, our sons will not be terrorists. The Bible teaches us to live in peace. That is why we ask you to send us another 500 copies. Father Thomas from Lima in Peru. There are many very poor children throughout the world. They have no toys, they have no books, at times they have no food. The Little Bible is often the only book they can call their very own. For some children living in far off lands, the Little Bible is the only book that has ever been published in their native language. From it they learn about letters and about who God is. It took quite a while before the package arrived here in Itaituba, because out here we are nearly at the end of the world. The children as well as the grown-ups are delighted with the child's Bible. The translation is fantastic, whilst the colour illustrations bring the text to life. Books are practically non-existent, especially in countryside communities located in the deep interior of the country. During lessons, teachers make use of their own old exercise books with text that they themselves have written. For many children, this is the first opportunity they get to see a book. Bishop of Itaituba, Amazonia, Brazil. This Bible has reached the most distant corners of our country, even such places where the Mapuche dialect is spoken rather than Spanish. Every year we have many copies of the Bible for Chile. All of them are distributed but in different ways. Some via bishops, other copies are distributed directly by our office to various schools, parishes and poor districts of Santiago. We have published a CD to go with the Bible. The CD contains text and illustrations from the child's Bible. How do we do it? We often give them away, and often we sponsor the Bible. But we also often ask people, our associates and donors, to sponsor the Bible. A box of Bibles or a box of catechisms for the poorest places that apply for help. In fact, we continue to receive at least two applications for Bibles and catechisms every week. That this project is at all possible is thanks to many people, which, by the way, applies to all the other projects. For me, this is proof, on a daily basis, of the great solidarity of the world that exists between a world of many needs and a world able to meet those needs. The Little Bible, God Speaks to His Children is made up of 98 short stories based on biblical texts for adults with color illustrations. The illustrations were painted by Sister Gomez who for many years worked with the poor of Peru where her drawings helped her to bring God to the people. Today, not unlike the complete Holy Bible, the Little Bible helps missionaries to talk to the children of the whole world about God's goodness.